okay now that we have these configuration commands set up on the switch right here we're gonna go back into the switch once again I'm doing it by clicking directly on the switch as opposed to the console connection from the PC just so that you can see it a little bit better and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type enable I gotta put in the password alright conf t configure terminal and what we're gonna do is we're gonna configure line VTY right for this be for uh, terminal access right remote access and with the router we did it from um, 0 to 4 so 5 lines 5 VTY lines but now we can do it 0 to 15 right with the switch so we say line VTY 0 to 15 we'll say password is Cisco right and then we'll say login right and then end now that should be for telnet by default that sets up telnet and let's test to make sure that that's the case we open up our PC here run the command prompt and say telnet into 192.168.99.2 it asks us for the password we say Cisco and we're into the switch there it is switch one right I'm gonna exit so now we have um, we have telnet access from the PC to the switch but telnet is not encrypted it's not secure so we're gonna try to upgrade here and we're gonna try to disable telnet and enable SSH alright so we're gonna do that next now to do that first of all we'll have to open up the switch again and with the switch we're gonna have to go to global config mode and give the switch domain name so we'll say let it know what the domain name is so IP domain dash name and we'll call it danscourses.com alright so we've given it a domain name right now what we can do is we can set up our secure keys we can generate our encryption uh, our keys crypto key right because SSH functions off encrypted keys public and a private key and that's what we need to build right now so crypto key generate RSA right that's the command we'll hit enter and then it says how many bits in the modulus right Cisco recommends 1024 you could do 2048 but it's gonna take longer for it to decrypt so we'll say 1024 hit enter and it's generating 1024 bit RSA keys the keys will be non exportable okay alright we're done there now we'll say IP SSH version 2 we're going to use SSH version 2 which is stronger and more secure than version 1 right it's been enabled and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say and transport no the next thing we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to go back into our line VTY our virtual terminal 0 space 15 right 0 to 15 and we're gonna say transport input All right we could say transport input we'll put a question mark here and after we put transport input you can see that we can say all which is all protocols none no protocols SSH or telnet right by default it's set to telnet so right now the um, line VTY 0 to 5 when you enable it it's the default is telnet so we're gonna change it to SSH so we'll say transport input SSH and now telnet should no longer work connecting into the switch and we can test that out by just hopping on the PC see if we can connect back in with telnet okay and you can see connection to the um, 99.2 was closed by foreign hosts so we were not able to enter any more telnet's no longer working right but now um, SSH is right let's issue a 
we'll go here and we'll say control C and show IP SSH SSH enabled version 2 authentication timeout is 120 seconds authentication retries by default is three tries right so it's all set up now for a nifty little trick we can SSH in with this PC all we need to do is type and you will not be able to do this with your command prompt in Windows 7 or XP but um, in this virtual uh, packet tracer world you're able to do it um, with an SSH client built into the command prompt which for me hasn't worked um, on a regular uh, Microsoft uh, operating system command prompt so here it is you can type SSH space dash L for login right and we don't have a username yet so um, the username actually will work will be admin and then our path and then the IP address that we want to connect to which 192.168.99.2 right hit enter and ask for our password type in Cisco and we're in we're into the switch um, if we type enable we can get to Cisco again and there we are we're in privileged user mode and we've SSH'd into the switch now if we want to we could set up a higher level of um, authentication by having a username and not just admin right we can have specific usernames for um, users allowed to connect to the switch and that's going to give us uh, another important point for connecting in just so you can see all the commands we use to set it up here are the commands that were placed into switch one right here uh, to set up the SSH access and then here is the command I use from the command prompt on this PC to SSH from the PC into the switch